Hello, this is Angela Anderson again, and I thought today I'd show you how to do a painting of a Gerber daisy. Um, I don't have an example for you done, uh, so I'm just going to use this picture. I've, it's kind of wonky because I used it before, so it's got some water stains on it, but this is what we're going to use for our example, and we're going to crop it a little bit, so it's going to look more like that. We're just going to have the center kind of peeking off to one side and most of the petals will be cut off also. So um, let's get started. Let's set that off to the side there and I'm going to use a bowl or a plate. Depending on the size of your canvas you can um, adjust the size of your... If I was using a larger canvas I'd probably use a larger plate like this but my canvas is fairly small. I'm using a 9 by 12 canvas panel. So I'm going to make my center of my flower with this. It makes it easier to get it just right. And I'm going to use chalk and just mark out a little semicircle. And that'll be where my flower goes okay. off the edge. Then I'm just going to mark off well, actually, I'm going to wait to sketch this part, and we'll paint the background, and then we'll sketch on the, the petals, okay? So let's do this. Let's put on, I'm going to do burnt umber for my I'm center. Just lay it straight onto my canvas. And I'm using a number eight bright brush. You can use just any large flat brush. Um, and this will be for some stippling for later. We'll do this around the, the outside of the circle. Um, so I'm just going to spread this around. This is burnt umber. And I'm not going to worry too much about being perfect in the circle here. I'm just kind of going for the general shape that I want it to be. Probably put out more paint than I need to. but. As I'm spreading it around, I'm using kind of short strokes and leaving all these little interesting brush strokes, little texture that where the canvas is showing through. And I'm going to leave that and let that kind of be part of the um, center of the flower. It has got some little texture to it, so this will kind of simulate that part without having to put another color on. And pick up some, let's see, this is light blue permanent. I'm just using Liquitex basic colors, acrylics. Um, you can use whatever brand you like. Um, they should be fairly thick. Um, the craft paints don't really work for the techniques that I like to do. Um, and honestly, you could probably not even cover the entire canvas. You could probably just do this outside edge. But I'm going to cover it because I like to have a little bit of that blue and other colors kind of showing through my petals when I do them. So I'm just stuck out a little bit of color. And my dog's barking. I hope nobody's here. <clears throat> and I'm going to spread this around my canvas while it's nice and thick. And try not to get it too much on the brown, but you don't really have to worry about it too much because those petals are going to come right up to that edge. And then we're going to put another, the yellow, all the way around this, and it'll cover that entire seam of color. And see, now when I'm touching into this green, I'm not cleaning out my brush. I'm just letting those colors kind of blend a little bit. Um, when you're choosing these colors for the background, you can choose whatever colors you like. But um, this one was, I forgot to tell you, this color is a olive green. Um, but they should be, be um, colors that will blend. So if you're not sure you know, what'll, what it'll look like, the safest way um, of cho choosing your colors that will look nice together is picking ones that are together on the color wheel. So I'm not going to put in all these extra petals in my sketch. This, this Gerber had multi, multiple petals. I'm just going to do kind of a more basic one. I did this with my girls class and so I didn't want to get too complicated with them. Um, so I'm going to just figure out how many petals I want and they're fairly big so I want to take up maybe five petals um, and this one's going to go completely off the canvas so I'm just going to mark kind of the, the where I want that petal to start because I don't want it to start too far over here and have just a little teeny tiny bit of it showing. So your petals are going to be about maybe two inches each. Um, and I use my fingers sometimes to judge, see 
how many I think I can fit in there. But then I can go like there, probably right here, and then probably another one right here. And see here again, I'm gonna leave enough space so that I get a decent petal out of it. Okay, then I'm gonna go just out from those marks and kind of taper the edge out. And these ones are gonna be longer and kind of come off almost to the end of the canvas. And these ones are gonna go off the canvas completely right here. And I'm leaving just a little bit of space, not too much space um, between them. And I might actually, I think I'd like to have a petal right in here that's kind of underneath. So I'm gonna put another one right here. And I think that'll be good. And I'll probably just go ahead and fill in a little bit of color right in here and here. Um, maybe a darker color to make an indication of a petal being, being there that's not shown here. So maybe make that petal a little bit bigger right here. So it looks like it's overlapping a little bit. Okay, so that's my basic petal shape. It's very rudimentary. This is a very basic class. This is not a supposed to be ultra realistic here. I'm just trying to kind of give you an idea of what you can do as a starter. Um, don't be too critical on yourself. It's okay if you don't draw okay. that great. When I'm choosing my colors, I would probably choose a, um, a medium color to start with, you know, so figure out what your medium color is. If you don't want to have to buy another paint color, you can always just add white to whatever color that is to add your highlight color for your highlight color. And then another darker color of the same value or the same um, hue. So, um, I'm going to start with my medium color here. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of this darker to it. And then I'm just going to um, kind of go in between these areas and between the petals. Kind of outline the petals a little bit and kind of fill in that area that's supposed to be a little bit darker for the petals behind it. All right, and this is just the start. We're gonna probably cover most of this. So don't go too, um, too thick on this. And um, try to stay on your line fairly well. You know, when, when you get to an area like this, it's actually gonna show the background right here. Um, you'll have to be a little more careful. Over here, I'm not being super careful because I know I'm gonna cover all this up. So if you want to um, be a little bit more careful, you can use the edge of your brush and pull it, it will keep the colors, give you a little bit more control over your brush than if you were to do like this, because then your edge might get a little bit wonky. So I always kind of try to use the edge of my brush when I'm doing my edges of my painting, okay? So there's that back, and I'm kind of filling in these background petals almost all the way. I'm, this is completely on the fly, so you're kind of seeing this as I figure it out. I have, it's probably been, gosh, at least three years since I've done this in a class. So I'm kind of rusty here. So you may see me trying to figure things out as I go. But that's okay. Okay, so I think I want to leave some green here and here and here, at least just to have a little bit of that background showing. And this that petal kind of got a little off to this direction, so I'm gonna straighten it out right here. It's gonna, whoops, it's probably way too big now. Oh well. I can always make this one bigger too. In fact, it probably is supposed to be bigger. Okay, so this is just my kind of basic outline of my starting point, and then I'm going to use this color and a little bit of the lighter color to just to kind of give me a um, separation of my, to show me where my next color should go. I'm not worried about drawing this background color because we're working wet on wet with this, so um, it won't matter. And this is all, this whole area is gonna be covered up, so you don't have to really worry too much about this either. Um, I'm gonna put that on, fill in my petals a little bit. And you see I'm leaving space here for that background to show through a little bit as I work. And I'm following the 
natural line of the petals. So they're going to go this way. So as I'm painting, I'm going to go this way. I wouldn't fill it in this way, is what I'm saying. Because that wouldn't necessarily be the way the flower's growing. They're, they're growing, they're, you're going to see the, the veins in it are going to be going long ways like this. So I'm just going to make long strokes to fill it in. Okay. And I'm just playing with this right now. We're going to add lots of layers to this. So this is kind of just, it's not going to look real good at the beginning and don't, don't panic. Um, a lot of my beginner students, uh, they get to this stage and they're like, this looks terrible. And they're looking at my finished one and they're seeing theirs still in progress and they're thinking that they're doing something wrong. But these paintings, honestly, even the ones that I'm doing for um, galleries, they, nine times out of ten, they look terrible until the last, like, hour you know that I'm working on them and then you know it all kind of magically comes together the um, I don't know why that is but it just seems like the more layers that you add the better they they look you kind of have to know when to end though you know that can be a mistake too is to do too much and then not end it and ruin something that looks fairly nice so a lot of times what I will do instead of working and working and working on a project um, until it's you know practically ruined I will take um, a painting and I will get to a point where I'm kind of not sure if I like it yet or there might be something that's still mm, I'm not really sure what it is but I'll, um, I'll say you know it's it's almost there and what I will do is set it up in my living room and leave it there and it could take a week it could take one day it could take you know a couple of hours it just never I never know but I will leave it up there and I will just watch it you know look at it from time to time and inevitably I will see what the problem is I will see that it needs a little bit darker or something here or that angle is a little bit off on that or um, you know so that I would encourage you to do that too if you've got a painting that you're working on and you are discouraged because you're not exactly sure what's wrong with it you know set it out and look at it and look at it often and just kind of let it come to you and a lot of times you'll be able to see um, what the problem is eventually okay so uh, let's see here I think I want to let's put a little bit of this lighter color in here and just lightly stroke from the outside of that petal in toward the middle. I'm not going to cover all the way. I'm just going to kind of use the edge of my brush here and pull it in a little bit to lighten that, soften that color up a little bit. It was too dark. Okay, that's looking better. I'm going to do the same thing over here just a little bit because it doesn't need much, but I still want to leave this dark color. And you can see here too, I've left my background color showing a little bit too. And that's okay. I like to do that actually. It, it's kind of unexpected and it um, it makes it interesting. And a lot of times you won't even know that um, that's what you li like about it. You know, if you see a, a really nice painting, um, try to try to break it down and figure out what it is about it that you like. And a lot of times you'll see that they've left like the underpainting showing or there's something else there's just a lot of layers the more layers i've found this is my opinion the more layers that you do the more interesting your painting becomes um so i i keep adding until i like it so that's my two cents um okay i'm gonna keep doing this i'm just like you like I said, I'm just kind of adding color here and there where it look, looks like I kind of need it. Um, okay, that's looking better. It's starting to kind of start come together now. What I want to do is add a little bit of shadow in here where um, these petals are attaching. Um, so I'm going to go back in here to my darker color. I hope you can see this okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pick up some of this darker color and I st I'm still leaving all that per pink on my brush and this is all still kind of wet so um, it's not dried yet 
I'm going to set it down against the edge and I'm just going to kind of pull it up until it kind of disappears. Okay, and just soften those edges. I'm doing it really, really lightly and just barely pushing down as I'm pulling it up. Okay, this is starting to dry right here, so I'm going to kind of put a little bit more color on there just right there so that it doesn't lift off and then I'm going to leave it because it's going to ruin it if I keep working it. If you you kind of have to pay attention to your paints and see, see what they're feeling like. If they start to feel like they're pulling on your brush or they feel tacky, you probably ought to stop and let it dry first and then keep going. So let's put a little bit more here. Like I said, I'm just kind of setting it down and I'm lightly pulling up. Okay, that's already starting to kind of look interesting. It's giving you another layer of color on there. And I'm even going to go in here and I'm going to use this edge of my brush and just pull up a little bit in here. Not a lot, just a little tiny bit, but I want to keep that dark so I can tell that there's another petal back here. And there's a little shadow between the petals. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. I think our allergies are really bad right now. It's my, I've had a frog in my throat all week. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I'm happy with this so far. And I'm going to dry it and then I'll come back because it's starting to get tacky. Okay, I'm noticing on this that I don't necessarily like how big this area is compared to to the rest of my petals that it looks too big to me so I think when I do my actual outline of color I'll do a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about pick up this um, Naples yellow I'm gonna pull and I'm not gonna go over the top of that I don't think I think I'm gonna go next to it but maybe barely cover that so that it's more balanced because I think that that normally I would have gone over the middle of that right there but I think I got a little bit too ambitious with the center of my flower for the size of this canvas so I am going to pull my there we go see my center is gonna that'll fix it a little bit better it's still a little bit flat right here, I think. So I'm trying to look at this while I go. And I think I may want to, I may want to make this petal bigger up here, right here, because these are gonna be quite big. I think it's gonna, the angle's wrong. I think I'm gonna bring it up here. So grab my chalk, like this. I think that'll be a better, angle for that and I think I'm going to make this one bigger too and have it come out more like straight like this. Okay. And then this, make it fatter this on this side too. <coughs> That'll be better. Okay. Let me fix that. That's what I love about acrylics. I hardly ever um, sketch something completely um, on paper before I start. I love the process, so I just play with my paints and sketch as I go and look at it. And if I want to change something, you can always cover. See, we've just covered all that green and we're fine. And I'm going to add some of the darker color too, just to kind of help it cover. And whoop, there we go. Make sure it's kind of thick. And you'll probably have to blend that edge a little bit more. We'll probably have to blend it, but I already like that better. Much better. And I think I'm going to make this fatter too over here. This petal a little bit thicker. So, it's not... There we go. I'm liking that better. And this one's going to come in. I'm get, picking up um, lighter color um, for my highlight, and I'm going to start working on that one just along the edge short little light strokes just kind of figure out where I want using the 
edge of my brush to kind of help me keep a clean line on the on the side here and yeah I like that okay then I'm gonna just lightly sort of blend it to the middle I don't have a lot of I, I have kind of probably more paint on here than I need so I'm just gonna really very lightly lightly brush it and I don't want to brush too much up here because that's still wet so I don't want to pull that up while I'm trying to cover it but I wanted to see that's much better I like that a way better okay then I'm gonna make this one kind of have that more oval shape too I'm gonna bring it out a little bit <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh, I hope I'm not doing that the whole video. Okay, that's better. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to continue doing that. I'm liking the look of that. It's starting to come together a little bit more. I think I may make this one even wider also. So I'm just, um, I don't have a lot of water on my brush. I just get in nice thick paint. I had the, the, um, magenta and a little bit even of that darker um, quinacrone what was it magenta yeah okay so I'm making that one yeah there we go and I'm not going to cover too much of this center because I want to leave that sort of uh, dark but I want to add a few little streaks of this highlight color in here and then I'm going to just add a few here and there to the middle by just very lightly letting that um, thick paint kind of catch onto the canvas that's a you know if that's too big for you you don't like that like I, I probably didn't mean to put that much paint down I'll just go back over it and sort of lightly blend it out a little bit so that it's not so obvious one big brush stroke but Okay, I'm going to keep working these petals and just adding layers of color. I'm picking up this lighter pink. And my brush, as I work, my brush is, my brush is getting drier and drier because um, the paint's it's wicking the moisture away from it. So at some point you may want to, like, I may just pick up just a little bit of water here. Can't, you can't even see my water thing. Just to pick a little tiny bit and shake it out. Okay. And then work it back in there. And I use a um, spray bottle too and I will spray. I don't want to spray over my painting because I don't want it to get on my paints. But I will spray my canvas. Or my um, painting plate a little bit and that will help keep the paints from drying out too quickly. Okay, I'm gonna keep and see you'll see how when you add that water there the paint will be smoother so you even use less pressure. Um, bring that out and bring it back in there we go and just put a few stroke streaks in there um, it's looking good I'm gonna bring some streaks down into here just a little bit to cover over some of that darker color and then I'll probably go back over the light with more dark um, as well adding building up layers of color okay. there we go and then I'm going to add some to these background uh, petals too but I'm not going to do it too much in here I'm just going to as I get to that I'm lifting my brush um, as I get close to that edge so that it doesn't go over the top of this um, color here. I want to leave this shadow <coughs> in that valley right there so I'm not going to bring my color all the way down in there. I'm going to 
indicate that it's heading that direction, but it's not going to cover completely into there so that it leaves this nice dark area back here and indicates that that pedal's behind the other one. Same thing for this. Um, it's a smaller area, but you still want a little bit of this pink color in there. So I'm just very lightly, very carefully putting some color in there. And that's a little bit too, too light. So I'm going to go back in with some of that magenta, the regular medium. Whoops. Okay, that's getting way too obvious right there. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is cover, take, take that paint off my brush right here. Um, and I'm going to pick up some more of this dark color and come from the bottom and move it this way. So just knock that back out a little bit. Same thing here, I got, it's gotten too um, close to that other petal color, so I'm gonna knock that back out with a little bit of that background color, and that's much more dramatic now. And I think I'll do the same thing with this one, just to re-emphasize that edge right here. I want some more of this dark to make this petal look like it's kind of curving a little bit right here. So the lighter part would be coming out at you. I think I'm going to kind of put a little bit of a shadow just along this one side here, maybe a little bit. And same thing over here. I think I'm going to put some shadow down in here. And I'm just playing with this. It's very organic at this point. It would, that's the thing I love about painting flowers and um, nature in general, that because it's so organic, no two things are exactly the same. So there's a lot of room for personal interpretation <laughs> and just playing with it. You know, as long as you're kind of following the basic rules, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it and it'll still look good. Um, and that's a, one of the things that I like about doing beginner projects like this um, because you can personalize it and make it your own and not worry too much about it being perfect. I I'm all for projects that encourage experimentation and different color choices and that kind of thing. I let my girls and boy, I have a couple boys in my class, but I let, let them choose their colors as much as I can so that they can kind of play with them and see what they do and they learn from you know if they choose colors I, I'll tell them if I think that they're choosing colors that are not going to work real great next to each other but um, I always love what they come up with because it's never what I would have picked and it's always so interesting and, and cool so I mean I, I learn from them it's really I, I absolutely love painting with kids. It's so great. Okay. So I'm liking that. It's coming together. This petal's doing better. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing how big this petal is. And then, so I'm going to go like this. Look how much wider that petal is than that one. I'm a good almost half inch off. So I think I'm going to widen this one even more, maybe down. Let me think. Let me look at it. Um, I think I'm going to just pull it out a little bit, just right in here. It doesn't have to be up in here necessarily, but I think it needs to be a little bit wider. I hope this is helping you that I'm kind of showing you as I do this and it's not like perfect from the beginning. Hopefully you're seeing how the process works and how um, you can just make it up as you go along. <laughs> okay, that's better. That's better. I'm liking that better. Okay, now and then this one may need a little bit of work too just because it's... Um, yeah, there we go. There. Okay. So I'm liking that. Now I think what I'm going to do, I've got my basic kind of areas where I'm doing the highlight. I'm going to even go back in here and do a little bit brighter. 
Um, like I'm very, very, very lightly pulling that brush so that it's creating all these interesting streaks in the paint. It's not, I'm not pressing down very much. And there, okay. Okay, so I've got some interesting things going on here. And I do want some of this lighter color um, in places because when I put my darker color, I can, I can go back over those with um, sort of watered down washes of color and it will completely transform the painting, but you'll still be able to see these kind of streakiness, but it'll be a little bit darker. So don't be scared that this is too bright at this point. You can always um, play with the color and make it a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit more streaks here. Now that I've got my kind of basic shapes worked out and I think I'm happy with them, um, I'm going to show you how I go about adding some more visual interest in these. So it's kind of plain right now. It's very basic pinks. And that's what you expect. And you could stop right here if you love it. Stop. You're fine. I mean, it's great. And in fact, with my girls, I think I did stop at this point um, in class. But I want to show you go a little bit farther. Um, with y'all. So I'm going to clean this out and <clears throat> I think I probably am going to want to dry this completely before we do the next step. So I'll be right back. 